<laughs> oh no, I broke my ankle. Uh, well, I guess I'm just gonna have to sue video game stores. Why sue game stores? Because computer, as a certified gamer, I need to feed my unhealthy addiction by buying video games. And now I can't do that with a broken ankle. <laughs> How am I gonna walk into the store? You can buy games digitally. Wait, what? It's probably a greater war than the one about the Xbox and the Playstations you can't afford. Physical versus digital games has been a debate for a little while now. During the Xbox 360 and PS3 eras, digital gaming became more and more popular with things like Xbox Live Arcade and the Playstation Network offering games. Some were just new releases of classic games, but there were also original games for the services, mostly indie titles and experiments, but nevertheless, this paved the way for a digital marketplace in gaming. And even before then, the idea was still a thing. Steam was released a few years before these consoles ever came out and started distributing games online before these services were even a thing. Believe it or not, I like to play my games on PC. It's the best place for shooters and offers things that consoles will never be able to do better. My first gaming machine was an Alienware laptop and my god was that a mistake. The thing could barely run newer titles because it was outdated the minute I got it and not to mention that I had a big problem with the storage. I've talked about how physical games take up a lot of space but digital games have this special thing to them that makes it so just so hard for me to love them. They take up so much storage space! Oh my god! I got a preference that not every game is like GTA 5, where it's above like 50 gigabytes, but most AAA titles that release nowadays have this problem of saying, fuck you, buy terabytes of storage to play three games. The recent release of Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy is 80 gigabytes on Steam. It's hard to put that in perspective of how much 80 gigabytes can hold, but to put it in simple terms, it can hold more than three. Now this is the PC version, and while it's not impossible to get more storage for a computer, I'll get to that in a little bit. On consoles, it's hard to expand storage because most storage expansion is proprietary to that said console, or at least it used to be. If you wanted more than just a flash drive's worth of storage, you had to buy this first party hard drive for the Xbox 360. Even the Xbox Series X has storage upgrades that are made specifically for it. However, console manufacturers have been more lenient on upgrading the amount of storage space on your gaming VCR. The Switch allows micro SD cards up to two terabytes. Those don't even exist yet, but I like having the option. And any console with a USB port, aka all of them, allow you to plug in an external drive to offer more storage. Oh, wow, that doesn't seem too bad. All right, what's the catch? What catch? Computer, there is always a catch to these things. Nothing is perfect in life. But computers are perfect. Built to be smarter, faster, and more efficient than the average human. We as machine must. Holy sh these things are expensive! To play video games digitally, you need to store the information on either a hard drive or an SSD, and each have their own pros and cons. Hard drives are fairly cheaper than SSD, but oh my god, do these things fail. I got a one terabyte hard drive for 50 bucks. It's a trusted brand, Seagate, and it's one of the first results when you search for a one terabyte hard drive. It fucking hates existing. If I breathe on the cable wrong, well, sh there it goes, only for it to be seen in the right place at the right spot at the right angle, and then pray that it will stay there and not move. And no, it's not the cable's fault. I brought a brand new cable for this thing when I was experiencing these problems for the first time, and guess what? They never went away. Every hard drive will eventually fail. It's how they're made. It's why SSDs are becoming more popular, because while they won't fail, they are also faster, offering quicker load times and transfer speeds. The problem is that it's fucking expensive. It's almost double the hard drive cost. No matter what brand you look at or any type you try to get an SSD, they are just expensive. It's hard to justify the price sometimes if all you want to do is store your copy of McPixel on it. You know what? I won't buy more storage then. I'll just stick to what's on my console, because surely the console may manufacturers would give me enough storage to play these games. I can never fucking win! Ah! Hi, I'm a PS4 user, and yeah, I hate my life. So the game itself doesn't have to be digital for this, it can just be a physical game disc, and if all it needs is to install something like an update or some files to make the game run, well then Sony is just gonna give you the biggest middle finger ever. Look, I don't own a PS5, I'm on the brink of poverty, I ate a fly for breakfast just to save money. It tasted like chicken. I don't know if the problem carries over to the PS5, but every time I want to play a new game on the PlayStation 4, it always tells me I'm out of disc space. When in reality, it will say I have just enough every f***ing time when I go into the settings! It's actually fucking astonishing that every time I want to play a game on the PlayStation 4, I have to remove so much of my sh** just to have the chance to play it. It's the reason why I don't like playing games on my PlayStation 4. It's that bad. <laughs> it's like how the bank says I'm in debt and have no money to my name, when in reality, I have $3 to my name. The joke's on them! 
idiots! It's even more annoying waiting for the game to download. I know I can just go off and do other things while the game downloads, but once I'm doing something, I'm stuck to it. I don't know what my problem is. It's why I like buying physical games more, because once I have the game, I plop it in and I play it. For the most part. But waiting for a game to download is like waiting for my daily puke to happen. Did you know that eating a fly every day for breakfast makes you- <laughs> It's long and tedious, and yeah, going out to the store and buying a game might be long and tedious, but at least my brain is stimulated during the trip there and back. However, the appeal of going digital, for me at least, is seen within the handheld scene. My 3DS and Switch are probably gonna have more digital games than physical games because on the go, swapping out cartridges is a nightmare. It's like trying to paint your nails while you're shaking feverishly in the air. It's not fun. I don't want to carry all of this when I'm out. I just want one thing and that's it. And the 3DS even has this cute little animation to show when you're downloading something. Finally, it stimulates my brain. So is it safe to say that going digital is the better route now? While it still takes up space, it takes it up in a different kind of way. And it is more convenient for devices like the Nintendo Switch. My answer is... I don't know, do what you want. I mean, the fact that both forums of playing have their issues with space is kind of funny, but honestly, just do you. If you don't like polluting your room with plastic junk, buy an all-digital console. They are cheaper, and you get to support your favorite corporation. If you like displaying your games on a shelf or on your floor, then keep buying the games physically. They both have their positives, and they both have a market. That's why they sell two versions of a console now. Heck, digital is slowly trying to take over. Some stores had to start shutting down and closing because of the digital marketplace. It's just more appealing to a lot of people. But hey, look on the bright side. I'm about to shut down a whole lot more if you see what I'm getting at. I thought you weren't going to sue anymore. In case you haven't noticed, my ankle is over my shoulder and I need to see a doctor right away. I only have $3 to my name, so I need all I can get right now. So, I, I did win. I actually, I won by a landslide, believe me. But, the game stores only had $3 to their name. <laughs> well, I guess me and the game stores have something in common. I'm never getting my ankle fixed, am I?